Good morning. It is Tuesday and I'm going to be making my son a what, a, what I call a go-go shake. Uh, he woke up late for school. Wednesday is a late start anyway, and then I always forget that it's a late start. And so I don't wake them up in the morning because I don't think that the kids are here. And then I come out to eat and I see the car still here. So then I realize he's home. And, um, <laughs> and it turns into an oh shit moment. Wednesday morning, well, it's usually, well, he hasn't been late to school yet, but there's a first for everything because he's late to school today. It is not entirely his fault. It's my fault too because he turns his phone in every night. So he doesn't really told him to use his dad's old arm, but I don't think he's grabbed it out of the basement yet. I am not really hungry today, which is weird. You would think that I would be starving this morning, but I'm not. I haven't eaten yet. I really couldn't really care to eat at this point. Don't speed either. I'm not gonna speed. You're late anyways. I know. Class just started two minutes ago. Well, first period. That's yeah. fine because I don't like my first period anyway. Have a good day. I will. So I've got a chiropractor appointment in 45 minutes and it's snowing. It's starting to snow. So cold out there. Anyway, I've got to get uh, I've got to get my breakfast in. Today I'm supposed to have an egg omelet, but I don't want one. So I'm just gonna do, and I really don't have time to make one and eat one. I'm just going to do some oats and yogurt and then I will have to add egg whites. Here I'm starting with a super set of reverse Nordics and heel elevated body weight squats. Um, I'm doing this just for activation and for warm up. I started out doing the Nordics, the reverse, the reverse Nordics, uh, with just my body weight. Uh, but I realized because of my back, I was not getting the stretch in my quads that I needed to. My back was having mobility, so I did end up using the band to assist on that, so that I could get a deeper stretch. Here I move into leg presses. I just do two sets of 20 of these uh, just to get a deep stretch and really allow my body to feel a range of motion while under a small amount of tension before I really ramp up my workout. Now I'm going to start my actual workout. This is where I'm really I start with my quad focused Bulgarian split squats and I move up five pounds in dumbbell weight each set. Uh, I do three sets of anywhere from eight to 15 of these. Here I'm going into the reverse hack squat. I really like this movement because I can hinge my hips back and squat and, and target both my glutes and my quads on this one. Uh, because it is a quad and a glute focus day, I really like this movement. 
So I hit this one for four sets of eight to 15 reps. I start high on the reps and then add weight in and usually max out at about eight to nine reps by the time I finish. I usually like to hit the leg extension very last on my quad days. However, I had a client that came in and I just didn't have enough time to finish my workout. So I had to break my workout out into pieces. So I did finish my quads here, train my client for an hour and then went back to my workout to finish it up. But on quads, I really like to do drop sets and just burn myself out. Because it's a quad focused day, I do hit quads first, finish those, and then I move into glutes. So here I'm just doing your regular glute kickbacks. Um, I do cross my leg over to make sure that my leg is going straight back and I'm not kicking it out. sets and I usually like to keep them kind of high rep and lower weight just to save my lower back. So I do take these 15 to 20 reps. Okay, I just got done training my quads and glutes today and uh, and then I had an in-person training client. Uh, she is in prep right now for bikini so I just did that session well both of those sessions at the pit and now I'm heading to the rec center to go do my cardio at the pit we don't have a Stairmaster yet we're gonna be getting one when we move we are moving in June I'm so excited I went and checked out the new space yesterday and it is gr perfect and the owners of the pit have like some really cool ideas for it so we are moving but uh until then we won't have a stairmaster at the pit so i do the stairmaster at the rec center and i have 35 minutes of that today we are due for like anywhere from like 10 to 24 inches of snow over the next six or seven days not looking forward to that I'm really hoping that like not everything shuts down because if everything shuts down like if the rec center shuts down I will not have the stairs to do cardio so I will have to use the treadmill for cardio at the pit and I just have a really hard time getting my heart rate up on the treadmill and it like really aggravates my ankles to like walk at that incline. I don't know why, but it does. But anyways, I can't be a sissy. I just gotta do it. I am very blessed to be able to have access to two different gyms, one of them being open 24 seven. And so uh, I still have the ability to utilize that whenever I want. So, I am going to go get my cardio done. I am so hungry because I'm only one meal down today and it is 150. So I'm gonna go get that done. Go pick up my daughter from daycare and get home and freaking eat. So I'm starving. Cardio is done. I got my Fitbit's like not tracking my heart rate properly. It, like a couple times it said my heart rate was like 90 and I was dying. So I'm pretty sure that was not accurate. <laughs> but it's 2.40 and Delilah's daycare does nap time until like 3.15. And I always feel like such an 
a-hole like going there and waking her or her classmates up so I'm gonna run to the store and get some chocolate chips because my post-workout meal is a chocolate chip protein pancake so excited for it so I'm gonna run to the store get some chocolate chips and I'm gonna go home and make my pancake and eat my post-workout meal because like I said I have not eaten since 9 30 this morning and it is 2 40 so I'm fucking hungry and I'm gonna go eat my post-workout meal and then after I'm done with that I'll run back to town and grab Delilah or I might just have Rylan grab her from daycare because the roads are not bad right now it stops snowing and there's nothing on the roads so that's probably what I'll do probably have Rylan pick her up that way I don't have to go wake up all the children at nap time but I'm gonna go get my chocolate chips <laughs> and make my freaking protein pancake I'm stoked for that one and I think I'm finally gonna cave and buy myself a ninja creamy because they have them in stock at my Walmart and I've got this amazing black magic mint chocolate chip protein powder and I want to make myself some mint chocolate chip ice cream but I have like I, I think I'm on like a ninja creamy recipe page but if you have any good creamy recipes tips or tricks let me know what they are and I will forever be grateful if they are very good and prep friendly my fats are still 45 grams right now so I can afford some fats if if you have a like higher fat one option recipe whatever whatever it is okay I'm gonna get off of here because I'm so hungry I'm like going delusional next up chocolate chip pancakes I am so excited for this chocolate chip pancakes. I seriously haven't had one since I reversed out of my um, failed prep. So it's been like four months. Look at this. Just look at it. Do you see that? Oh. I like the spatula and the bowl, like like I was a um, ten year old licking the cake batter uh, little whisk thingies. <laughs> so good. <sighs> but yes, I will show you when it's done because it. I'm so excited for this. I am so excited. This is like this is like getting a donut right now. Like this is like getting a fruity pebbles donut right now. Do you like the Fruity Pebbles Donuts? They're so good. It's so much better than a donut right now. So good. Okay, I kind of broke it a little bit. I keep my pancakes like upside down so that my chocolate doesn't get stuck to my cake, like the chocolate chips in it. But the trick to this is cooking it slightly under. Do you see that? Oh my gosh. Super yummy. It tastes like a freaking peanut butter brownie. Anyway, I'm gonna scarf this down. Inhale it, pretty much. Good morning. It's Thursday. This vlog is like all over the freaking place. I know. I'm aware. Uh, Tammy wanted me to send her like an update, like a mini check-in. When I checked in on Monday, she was like, Hey, check in again on Thursday. Like, just kind of give me an update. We'll see if weight's moving. So I did that. I gave that to her this morning. So this is what it's looking like Monday to today. So I think it's better since the calorie drop. There's that one, and then apparently I couldn't put my pants on straight this morning. <laughs> Monday to today, right there. Uh, 
so I think I think I'm looking leaner in that amount of time, but the scale is not reflecting that. <laughs> Go figure. I am working really freaking hard on the gym, like pushing myself to like almost crying, just not crying out of like pain, but crying out of like pushing myself to that like mental and physical intensity. And yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong, it hurts, but it's, it's not like a hurting like, um, like I'm doing damage, like permanent damage to my body. I'm not like, you know, putting myself in that kind of pain. It's just the pain of lifting freaking heavy. And I always get like really nervous when I start cutting because I feel like I'm gonna lose all my freaking muscle. And so I really turn up the intensity. <laughs> Maybe I should turn up the intensity all the time. I don't know. Off season can get hard. I mean, I did train like my life depended on it. Probably 95% of the time this off season. But I don't know. I like there's just a switch in the brain, I guess, that goes off when you start prep and you're like, hey, it's uh, time's ticking <laughs> when you're in off season and don't have like a an end goal. There's like no ticking time bomb. So there's no stress. And when you start prep, you're like doing this cardio and making sure that you're eating the right food sources and making sure you're hitting your macros. And there's that added stress that comes with prep and knowing that there's a deadline. And I think my body is just really holding on to that stress. <clears throat> Uh, like I mentioned with my scar tissue in my last, in my part one, um, I have been doing scraping and body work, like deep tissue body work, ev almost every day. And that also could be leading one of the causes of the scale not moving. We'll see how it goes. I think I feel leaner. I think I look leaner. But this is why I have a coach. Because she makes the calls. I just give her the data. <laughs> and she makes the calls. I don't have to do that. <clears throat> it's, it doesn't mean it's not stressful, though, sometimes. And I need to stop freaking stressing myself out. Because the judges don't see the scale. They just see the final result. And I just hope that my final result is in on time. Anyway, I need to leave for a client session in 15 minutes, so I need to, like, put myself together. I'm going to pack a pre-workout meal today because I'm going to be gone all day. It's 9.15 right now. So I've got back and... Well, mostly just back today. Got back today and hit cardio, and I am freaking tired like my body is just screaming at me I'm tired it's nine and I still can't wake up and I've been awake <laughs> I've been awake and I've been drinking my coffee and I'm waiting for Tammy though I I am waiting on Tammy to because it wasn't like an official oh she just messaged me back she says <laughs> you usually Usually, you'll miss macros for one day and lose four pounds. <laughs> Let's keep it till Monday, see where things are. She does think my waist is looking tighter and we're on the right track. So, that's relieving. <laughs> it is true. It is true. It is so true. Like, literally, when I'm building and I'm in my off season, seriously, like, I will be like, oh my gosh, I was just too busy. I missed macros by like, you know, 500 calories. Which in my off season is like, I'm, it's like 2,600 calories, right? Like I still ate 2,600 fucking calories. <laughs> and I'll drop like right back down. Oh, I'll drop right back down. Like base one, like I'll, <laughs> 
like not just the next day, like my check-in day, I will be down a few pounds and I'll be like, I, I literally like, I still ate 2,600 calories. <laughs> the rest of the day I was like over 3,100. So I, <laughs> and I'll drop the weight. This is what, <laughs> this is the shit. This is the shit. <laughs> Fun stuff. Um, if I'm not the only one out there that goes through this, fluctuations with the scale and yes I did not say fluctuations let me know like let me know if this happens to anyone else because this is like seriously freaking hilarious at this point so <laughs> anyway I gotta prep my food and get the hell out of here I need to wake up for the day so I'll see you later good morning it's Friday and snowpocalypse is just about to start. It got pushed back a couple days. So like there was two rounds, like one was like the Arctic Clipper, Alberta Clipper. And then this one's like the Colorado Low or something like that. So it's, this is, this is, <laughs> we were initially told that we were going to get uh, like 12 to 24 inches, so. This is it. <laughs> We've got a dusting. <laughs> but I guess the, um, I shouldn't talk shit because then I will really, really get it. But uh, our, the big round was pushed to Monday, like Sunday, Monday. So we'll see, we'll see what we get then. And we're told we can get up to like 12 inches. But, but, my husband got me a present last night. He came home with a Ninja Creamy. Look at this. Isn't it beautiful? Isn't it beautiful to add to my Ninja collection? So, I made some mint chocolate chip ice cream. Of course, I can't have it yet because it's freezing. But I made mint chocolate chip ice cream. And um, with this Black Magic mint chocolate chip protein, which should take a snag at those macros. So I'm freaking so excited for that. That's my one of my meals today. Uh, I'm tired. Yesterday, I didn't even want to work out. Yesterday, I was like, I didn't want to do anything. I just wanted to sleep all day. And today, I slept in. And I'm still tired. I have been getting on the spin bike for my cardio. And holy shit, when I tell you, my legs are... Uh, trashed. They're trashed. Now I know why cyclists have such freaking huge quads because, you know, that shit burned. So I'm going to keep doing it. I'm going to keep doing the, the bike. While my recovery is still okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep doing the bike. I, I didn't do my whole cardio on it. I did 15 minutes. So I did 20 minutes on the stairs and then 15 minutes on the bike. And then I figure my hit cardio will be on the bike too. Cause that'll be a good, like doing the spin bike with hit cardio, like that's. But yeah, I'm not used to that. <laughs> I thought my crotch would fill up more than my. <laughs> Cause I, I, you know, you know, you know. Thought my crotch would fill up more than than my quads, but no, nah, not dog. My quads hurt. <laughs> uh, I need to go grocery shopping bad. My okay, <laughs> guys. We we're on our garbage bags, and I like to get like the flex force ones that have a drawstring. Especially because, like, we have to carry our garbage bags all the way out to the dumpster. So we fill them bitches up. 
and we we, sh we shove them down. Because, you know, we got six people living in this house. So, uh, we go through, like, a bag more frequently than a day in the, in the garbage bin. S or the kitchen garbage. So, um, yeah, we got to drag it all the way out to the dumpster. And then it's got to live in the dumpster for two weeks until the dumpster people can come get it. Because they only come out every two weeks. So... It, that, that shit's got to survive, all of that. Uh, and, and those cheap bags just don't cut it. Anyway, we ran out of garbage bags the other night, right after my husband got back from the store. So we ran out of the nice garbage bags, and we so happened to have a like little thing of cheap dollar store garbage bags down in our pantry, because my mom likes likes the dollar store. And when she, she, when she comes, she just brings all her shit from the dollar store, <laughs> drops it off in our pantry. So, I sent them out to Dollar General. Dollar General has name brand garbage bags, okay? Like, and Dollar General's the closest store to us. So, they have name brand garbage bags. What does he come back with? He comes back with the same shit. <laughs> my mom, the Dollar Store brand, that my mom bought. I'm like, no, what is this? Four boxes of it. He comes home with four boxes of it. And well, it's got the gain, it's scented. Okay, but it's not the Forest Flex, and it don't have drawstrings, okay? Like, what, what, we still had garbage bags, okay? They were just the shitty stuff. Why would you buy more shitty stuff? <laughs> Men. Men, okay? That's what we're dealing with over here. God bless his heart. <laughs> he tries, he tries really hard. I love him, he's a good man. But like sometimes like that, like. Yeah. Anyway, so he buys that shit last night. Okay, whatever. Now we have four. I'm just going to go to the store today, and I'm going to buy the real garbage bags in bulk. Like that big double case. And I'll put those ones down in the pantry for when you run out of garbage bags again. Those will be the backup emergency ones again. Or like the bathroom garbage bags or whatever. I know they'll be way too big for that, but... They, 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 they not cutting it in this garbage in the kitchen. <laughs> okay, Fred bought me that Ninja Creamy and I just made it. So this is the final result. Oh my gosh, the texture is like perfect. Okay, like when I took it out before the respin, I was kind of questionable about it because of like the powdery. That's really good. It doesn't even taste like protein. This is really good. Okay, macros for this. By the way, I slayed my hamstrings in the gym today, and then I thought it was a good idea to do the spin bike for cardio. I lasted 10 minutes. <laughs> and then I had to hop back on the stairs and, uh, Finished my cardio and I wanted to die. Okay, so I got 40 grams of Black Magic Mint Chocolate Chip Protein, 30 mils almond milk, the 30 cal per cup, 7 grams of white chocolate pudding mix, and 7 grams of semi sweet chocolate chips. That I And I put the chocolate chips in on the respin. Uh, total macros for this are 253 calories, 29 protein, 16 carb, 8 fat. So good. I don't know how I have gone this long without a creamy. But this is amazing. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Was it as about to eat this for like every meal? This is so good. So good. Now I gotta make chocolate or strawberry. And I read on the, I read on the, um, like, creamy Facebook page or whatever that, like, people are having a hard time with, like, mint flavors. Black Magic has nailed the mint flavor. Like, nailed it. You don't need to add any mint flavoring in. 
like none of that. I've done like mint mock smoothies and milkshakes and ice creams in the past. Nothing compares to the Black Magic Mint. So this is by far, I mean like this, this literally tastes just like mint chocolate chip ice cream. So uh, it's really freaking good. I can't believe I got so much ice cream for 250 calories and like 30 grams of protein. <laughs> Major win on this. Major win. Okay, it is Sunday and I did not do like any vlogging over the weekend. I just kind of took this weekend to enjoy with my family. We had an amazing steak dinner last night and um, usually after I have steak, I drop weight and I woke up this morning feeling extremely like tight in my stomach and so I was expecting a drop on the scale and it did not happen I have been holding the same exact weight um, since Wednesday but I'm not I'm really not worried about it because I look leaner I look tighter so I'm just kind of letting it ride right now but I'm going to wrap this vlog up here and hopefully get this out today so i will see you guys next week in the next vlog and hopefully that one has a little more excitement on it for you okay.